Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rahul and I would request all to subscribe, like and comment my channel and if you have any problem related to your uh, medical studies, if you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section below and you can uh, always get my uh, guidance if you need. And today, why I'm making this video is, the topic for today is a zygous, hemiazygous and necessary vein and this is a topic where I feel the students get uh, you know confused because they really don't understand because this is a complete network of veins and uh, for that matter of fact I thought that I will help my students today with the video so guys without uh, for this video not to be too long so I have made this structure already but I would label them with the uh, with your presence so guys uh, what I would like to uh, show you over here is uh, this is our whole of a um, zygous, hemiazygous, accessory vein structure and today I'll be labeling it. But the first question is that what do you understand by the word azygous? If you look into the Greek meaning of this word, it means single or basically without pair. Okay, so that means that this azygous means without any partner. Okay, so um, that also you can say he's a Oh, this venous system is a single one with no girlfriend or boyfriend actually. So let's start labeling a structure which I have made in here. Okay. So my first structure over here you can see is the superior vena cava. Okay. So this is my superior vena cava. Okay. And you know that superior vena cava basically drains the blood with the inferior vena cava into the right atrium right so somewhere over here we will have the right atrium which i'm not making right now so this is a superior vena cava and you know that superior vena cava with inferior vena cava get take bring the blood from the whole of the body to the right atrium so this over here i have made my inferior vena cava okay so this is over here i have made inferior vena cava for the clarity of the uh, diagram i have not you know joined them to okay now over here this is my right common iliac vein and this is my left common iliac vein okay further they will be getting divided into two then over here this is my right renal vein and this is my left renal vein if you can appreciate the fact that i have drawn the left renal vein a bit longer as compared to the right renal vein and this is the question generally your teachers will ask you so at that time what you will reply why this left renal vein is a bit longer than compared to the right renal vein and the answer is that this uh, uh you know inferior vena cava and superior vena cava this vena cava uh, basically venous drainage system is basically situated a bit laterally it is not exactly in the middle so it is situated a bit towards the right side and that is the reason that the left renal vein has to travel a bit longer to get drained into the direct ivc okay so this is the reason that this left renal vein is a bit longer now see over here i have drawn the vertebral uh, bones so this is from t4 to t12 i have made the thoracic ones now over here see this what i have made is the l5 L4 and these are not the uh, lumbar vertebras. I'll just tell you what they are L3 L2 and L1 and these are the right sided lumbar veins Okay So these are the right sided lumbar vein guys. Okay, similarly on the left side also we have the same L1 L2 L3 L4 and L5 and these are our left sided lumbar Wings. okay guys now you can see over here that i have made a vein which is connecting the right lumbar veins and the left lumbar veins all from l1 to l5 see this all is connecting the l4 l5 l3 l2 and l1 don't get confused with this line okay it is not connecting the right renal vein or the left renal vein so this is just connecting it is going upside from down to up and something which goes from down to up we call it as ascending right so this is getting ascended from down to up and getting and connecting the uh, right lumbar veins and that's why the name of this structure we give it as right ascending right 
ascending lumbar way okay and similarly the same thing happens on the left side so we mark this structure as left ascending lumbar way okay guys now just below the spinous process of the t12 vertebra we have one venous uh, we have one venous uh, vessel okay and that is known as right subcostal wing so because it is below the costal uh, surface we call it as the right costal vein and similarly we also have here which is known as left costal vein guys one more important thing i would like to tell you is because the azygous hemiazygous system is situated on the posterior abdominal wall that's why i would like to tell you this thing that see in the posterior side okay we have 11 intercostal spaces okay and in the front side we have nine intercostal spaces okay so always remember this fact and that's why we have the 11 intercostal veins which i will draw now okay now see this ascending vein is going up and getting connected with the subcostal vein and then travels up okay so on the right side when this is doing this makes a common structure which is known as nothing but our azygous vein okay and on the left side when all this structure goes up and connects with this and travels up this is known as hemi azygous vein and you all know azygous means single or without any partner without any girlfriend or boyfriend so this azygous thing does not have any girlfriend or boyfriend okay alone no relationship no uh, no relationship no uh, no time waste and all uh, time uh, given to studies okay so that should be also your motive now uh, personal choices no uh, uh, no advice given on this topic okay so hemiazygous vein and azygous vein okay then they travel and then i can number this this is for example 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and then 1 okay now see 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 one okay so we have checked that also now these are known as right posterior intercostal veins okay so from 11 from 5th to 11 they get directly drained into the azygous vein and then this azygous vein travels upside and near the hilum of the lung gets directly drained into the superior vena cava but the fourth third and the second right posterior intercostal veins they together drain into a single vein and then that single vein drains into the uh, uh, into the uh, azygous vein and that is known as sorry guys sorry 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 okay so here what happens is that the second third and the fourth uh, right posterior intercostal spaces they get drained into a single structure and they get directly drained into the superior vena cava okay and this structure is known as this structure is known as right superior intercostal vein so right superior intercostal vein is basically the vein which is draining the second third and the fourth right posterior intercostal veins and now the last one the most upper one the most upper right posterior intercostal vein gets directly drained into the brachiocephalic vein and that is basically known as the right suprema so something which is above from superior is known as suprema so this is right suprema intercostal vein and guys because i have not uh, in the starting of the video i have not labeled these structures so now i will show you these structures so this i told you this is superior vena cava okay so superior vena cava basically gives two branches the left 
brachiocephalic right and the right brachiocephalic vein right and then it is further divided into the subclavian vein right subclavian left subclavian then we have the right jug external jugular vein and right this one right internal jugular vein similarly this will be the left one which will be internal of course jugular vein and this would be your left left external jugular vein okay now we have completed the right part similarly we will complete the left part also now you can see that here also we have 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay now what happens over here is guys these are also known as left posterior intercostal veins okay now the 9th 10th and 11th they get directly drained into basically the hemiazygous vein okay and now what happens is that they are getting directly drained into it now this hemiazygous goes up comes near basically the t8 vertebra and gets drained into the azygous vein and this is very important anatomical structure where you can be asked that where the hemiazygous gets drained into the azygous vein so this hemiazygous in which the left posterior intercostal vein 9 10 and 11 is getting drained comes up near the lower border of the eighth thoracic vertebra and gets drained into the azygous vein now the fifth sixth and seventh okay now the fifth sixth seventh and eighth left posterior intercostal veins they basically get drained into a single structure and that single structure gets drained into the azygous vein and this single structure is known as nothing but it is known as accessory vein okay so this structure is nothing but the accessory vein now this second third fourth okay uh, left posterior intercostal vein they gets drained into a single structure and that is known as nothing but the left superior intercostal vein and this gets directly drained into the brachiocephalic vein okay and now the single one the single one which was remaining this also gets drained by its alone but not with these ones but it alone gets drained into the brachiocephalic and this is known as left suprema intercostal vein okay guys so the difference over here is that the right superior intercostal vein on the right side was draining into the sub uh, into the superior vena cava but here the left superior intercostal vein is draining into the brachio left brachiocephalic vein and over here the supre the right suprema and the left suprema they directly gets drained into the brachiocephalic on their respective sides right and left now you can see that I have made this green structure which is getting uh, drained into the uh, zygous vein okay before it gets drained into the uh, superior vena cava so what is this guys this is a very important structure which you will not find in all the text so please remember guys that this is the thing but your right bronchial vein okay so this is your right bronchial vein and now over here you have also seen this one more structure over here okay so what is this structure this is nothing but this is the left bronchial this is the left bronchial vein which is getting drained into your accessory vein okay always remember this this is getting drained into your left uh, uh, left uh, uh, not left but the left bronchial vein is get, getting drained into your accessory vein one more important thing over here I forgot to draw but here I will draw for you there is one structure which also gets drained into the hemiazygous vein and this structure is known as guys esophageal vein 
esophageal vein. You can write esophagus with e also. I'm writing with o. Now, uh, just the UK and US English differences. So esophageal vein also gets drained into the hemiazygous vein. And remember that it does not drain the esophagus fully, but partially. Okay. Always remember it drains the esophagus partially, and this also has importance, clinical importance, where in esophageal varices in liver cirrhotic patients which i will not discuss here because this is out of the scope of our today's discussion maybe some other time on your demand i will make the video on that as well okay so now you know now over here i have told you that this is the subclavian right subclavian left subclavian uh, uh, this side I told you this is the right external jugular this is the right internal jugular similarly here also the right internal uh, left internal jugular and left external jugular guys you must be knowing one thing that the subclavian way now this is a very important uh, 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 point which generally students uh, lack understanding and over here I want to clear that point so that point is guys that if you can see I'll use another color I will maybe use the green color uh, the red color over here you can see this subclavian vein and this internal internal jugular vein they make an angle over here see this angle is over here and over here i have made a structure okay this is nothing but this is the right lymphatic drainage okay so from right side of the part whole of the body here comes the right lymphatic drain okay and whole of the body whole of the body right side of the body the lymph comes and get drains into this place and gets mixed with the venous blood and this area is known as right jugular angle so somebody if ask you what is jugular angle if somebody ask you what is jugular angle so jugular angle is nothing but it is the angle angle between the subclavian and the internal jugular vein on the both side right side and on the left side also so in the right side the right lymphatic drainage will take place from the right side of the body and from the left side as you can see at this angle so this is your subclavian right left side this is your left internal jugular and here guys you will have another drainage here okay and this area is known as nothing but thoracic duct which takes the lymphatics from the left side of the body and gets drained into the venous blood just here at the left jugular angle okay so this is also known as thoracic duct or left lymphatic drainage okay guys so with this today i finish the explanation of your zygus hemiazygus accessory vein and also few concepts including the right lymphatic drainage and the left lymphatic drainage with the uh, understanding of jugular angle which generally students they don't have difference between the why the left renal vein is longer than the right renal vein and the concept of the drainage of the right bronchial and the left bronchial vein and also uh, partial information on the esophageal vein as well i hope this video helps you to clear your concepts if you want to understand the medical concepts on any topic it may be surgery medicine obs gyne preoperative uh, maybe your physiology anatomy biochemistry anything which you want from uh, both clinicals and non-clinical sites you can mention in the comment box below and i will make the video on it with lots of love and i will try to even help you to guide you with your all doubts you can ask me in the comment section anytime if you want and uh, of course i would request you to subscribe my channel and like it share it and comment it thank you medicine made halwa by dr rahul